Hey, it's late September and the monarch butterfly migration is at its peak right now. Pheasants Forever is the habitat organization and habitat projects like this one that I'm in today are critical to providing the nectaring sources that are needed for monarch butterflies to complete up to a 3,000 mile journey back to their wintering grounds in Mexico. If you're unfamiliar with the miracle that is the monarch butterfly migration, today's habitat tip is gonna tell us more about that event. Hey, it's late in the year right now, but we wanna think about the value that our habitat project provides throughout the entire growing season. And if you're interested in knowing more about your project and how it stacks up for monarch butterfly habitat, our friends at the Monarch Joint Venture have created a really cool, simple tool to evaluate your project. It's a habitat assessment guide. We'll tell you more how to get to this tool at the end of our tip, but for now, let's learn more about the life history of the monarch butterfly. Where monarch butterflies are concerned, the life history all starts with milkweed. Having a milkweed species in your habitat project is critical to monarch butterfly success. Monarch butterflies go through four life stages. The first stage is the egg. A female lays her egg on a milkweed plant and that egg hatches in about four days. The larvae or the caterpillar stage lasts for nine to 13 days. During this time, the caterpillar feeds on the milkweed plant. The third stage is the chrysalis stage, which lasts for about nine to 15 days. In our next clip, we're going to watch the dramatic emergence of an adult monarch butterfly from the chrysalis. Adults in the summer generation only live about two to five weeks and their primary goal is reproducing. Each female lays three to 400 eggs in her life and she'll only lay those eggs on a milkweed plant. Adults in the final generation of the year live seven to nine months long and complete the arduous migration all the way back to Mexico that can be up to 3,000 miles long. The final generation of monarchs delays their reproduction until the next spring and then starts the cycle all over again. Hey, when you're thinking about your next planting project or management activity, remember with some thought on the front end, we can provide great habitat for pheasants, quail, honeybees, grassland songbirds, and monarch butterflies all with the same project. Because in the end, we all have basically the same habitat needs. 
Reach out to a Pheasants Forever biologist and we'll design the seeding mixture and the management plan to help you reach your objectives for your project. Because a project like this one, that'll help get monarch butterflies back to Mexico for the winter, that's great habitat. <laughs>